Hello and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminar Session 2 Mass and Family Modelling. This is part 4 Mass by Floor Cost Schedules. Okay. If you're following on from the previous video, this is where we got to. We have a series of family types in our design, um, which we are now going to use to create design options that have got a costing on them. If we select all but one of these forms, select it, and if you are following on from the last video, you should have a glass option. Let's leave it at that for now. It helps us visualize this next um, part of the process. Okay, so we have a a cube. A cube is 75 meters by 75 meters with a height of 50 meters. Okay, let's drop that height down to 40 meters and we're going to load up this project with enough floor levels to reach to the top of our form. So to do that, go to our elevation view, any of them will do, and you notice that we have levels there. That's their 4 meter levels for now so that's why we brought it down to 40 meters we'll have 10 levels in this project to quickly create a new level go to your architecture tab find your level tool and a quick way of doing this is to turn on the pick lines have an offset of 4 meters come down from above with your cursor and you'll see a preview of an offset of 4 meters from level 1 that's called level 2 and carry on that process until you get up to level 10 okay escape off we've now got 10 levels jump to the 3d view select your form and when you select a mass object you get this option here mass floors so select that you could leave out some of the floors if you wanted to but let's select all of them for now and hit OK we get a graphic representation of the square meterage of each of these levels so we can get an overall idea of how many square meters are within the building and if we know a cost per square meter that we're um, trying to aim for, we can now get an overall cost for our building. So let's move on with that process. We're going to be using schedules. Now schedules we have covered in previous videos. They live on the view tab. This icon here is schedule. Drop that down. Schedules and quantities. This is a mass floor schedule. Open that up and we need to add fields to our schedule. The two fields we're interested in here is what level we're on because we have a variety of levels so we can add that in and our floor area. Add that in. While we're in here, we could add a calculated value, so let's do that. Calculated value, call it cost for now. It's a number. This is a formula, and this is uh, very similar to Excel spreadsheets. We need to add the correct name, so there's a dot 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 button at the end, which allows us to say floor area. Now this is important because if you don't get the capitalization right of if you try to type this out yourself you might miss out that it's capitalized at the F and the A of floor area and that there is a space in between them so it's easier just to go to there and get the selection of fields that we're trying to add into the formula floor area star sign pound sign or dollar sign to signify that it is a currency 
I'm going to add 2,000 pounds and then I'm going to normalize by dividing by 1. Okay, so once we've done that, we've got level, we've got area, we've got cost. We're going to do some further manipulation to this schedule, but I'm going to OK that for now. And you can see that our three columns are there. We want their overall cost for the building, so this can be added up. So if I go into any of these, here opens up that interface again. I'm going to go over sorting and grouping. I'm going to turn on grand totals. And I'm also going to select cost and then calculating its total. So OK there. You see we now have a an overall cost of our building, which is quite a lot, 75 million pounds. OK. You'll see though that every floor meter square meterage is the same so we're getting the same cost for each one. So just to demonstrate what's going on here, let's change our form. So if we go back to our 3D view, hit WT as a shortcut, or go to here, Tile Windows, on the View tab, you'll see every window that we've got open. Go to ZA as a shortcut, zooms all, and you can now see what we're looking at. These over here are looking at our family, which still isn't closed, it's open in the background. And these here are looking at our um, project view. So I think we can close the north elevation and the plan, leave ourselves those two open. Let's close everything other than the 3D view in the family. If I was to close that now it would ask do I want to save um, and I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm going to minimize that. Then I'm going to hit WT again or go to my window tile. Hit ZA again. So you see this takes a little bit of getting used to some of these shortcuts. ZA is a, a useful one to remember. You can see that if I select in here I get a graphic representation of which one I am selecting. So the two things are tied together. The schedule is tied to the model. But like I said, these are all the same square meterage, so are giving me the same cost. I'm going to jump back to this form and make a change. Now I could expand that one I minimized before, zoom in. Now this is probably going to break some of the parameters, but that's fine. I want you to grab that edge and push it over so you've got a tapering form. Constraints are not satisfied. Um, we can remove those for now. Okay, so I've made a change. I'm going to load that back into the project. Overwrite existing version and its parameters. So that's an important aspect of this. We have parameters in it and we've just changed some of them. So let's overwrite that. And you'll see that we've now got a tapering form. Okay, if you hit WT again or go to view tile windows, you should now see that the square meters of the floor descend as we go up as it's tapering so we now get different costs okay if we select the form at the moment we're on option three so if you were talking to a client at the moment about the various options and the client is interested in the overall cost of your options this could be a discussion and you can now jump between options and you'll see that the prices change. So the schedule is linked to the options. So that could be a very quick way of demonstrating the various design options and costs that you have. Okay, that's the end of that demonstration. Please find the next video. Thank you.